In this video, we're going to look at a couple of examples that involve fractions and such that direct substitution doesn't work. So let's start with this first example. The limit um, as t goes to 0 of 1 minus t minus 1 over t squared plus t. Now, I might try direct substitution, but I will see that this bottom goes to 0 and the top goes to a non-zero number, which means this is some kind of infinity situation. Likewise, if I plug in 0 over here, I get the top goes to 1 and the bottom goes to 0, so we have another infinity situation. And infinity minus infinity requires more investigation, so direct substitution is not going to work. So I'm going to try to manipulate this algebraically and stay equivalent so that maybe I will be able to find the limit. So I have two fractions here, which means one thing I can do is combine them and get one fraction. So I try to find the least common denominator, which if you notice, if you factor this one on the right, you get t times t plus 1, which gives a common denominator of t times t plus 1. Okay, and now we need to adjust our numerators. So this one becomes t plus 1 minus, and then this one just stays 1 because I didn't have to alter the denominator at all. All right, now that I have one fraction, I'm going to simplify. So the top just becomes t over t times t plus 1. And I can cancel, and I know this limit is equivalent because these functions are equivalent everywhere away from 0. And now I can do direct substitution. If I plug in 0 here, I get this limit goes to 1 over 1 or just 1. So our original limit is equal to 1. Okay, let's look at the second example, which involves some complex fractions. Okay, so I notice if I plug in negative 4 for my x value, this top goes to 0, the bottom also goes to 0, so this is a situation where we must do more work. All right, so the top has two fractions, so let's do what we did in the last example and combine the two and get one fraction and see if that helps us. So we look at the limit as x goes to negative 4, and I find a common denominator is 4 times x. It is so tempting to make our denominator up here 4 plus x because it looks like this one and this plus is leading us down, down that path. But remember, we are taking the factors of our denominators and combining them, which means we're going to have to multiply them. So our top here becomes x, and our top here becomes 4. So I have x plus 4 over 4x, all over 4 plus x. Now I'm still not ready for direct substitution. There's more simplification that can be done. All right, so remember when we divide by a number that is equivalent to multiplying, by its reciprocal. So this number, x plus 4 over 4x, is being divided by 4 plus x or multiplied times 1, um, multiplied by 1 over 4 plus x. Now these are equivalent, so I can cancel them, and I'm left with the limit as x goes to negative, oops, that's too many negatives x goes to negative 4 of, of 1 over 4x, and now I can apply direct substitution, plug in negative 4 for my x, and I get negative 1 16th. And that is the limit of my original. 